in history when the universe seems to be warning you, and one of them might be this one. The James Webb Space Telescope just did something extraordinary. It captured the first real picture of a phenomenon that could alter everything we know about our place in the cosmos. It's officially categorized as a 3i map, a comet between stars. But what if it isn't? What if it's not a comet at all, but a vessel? An alien craft disguised as ice and dust silently crossing our solar system with no clear goals. Decades ago, Stephen Hawking warned us, do not transmit signals into space because they might come if they hear us. We didn't listen. Earth has been shouting its presence into the dark, and now there is something here. What the James Webb saw is not just odd. It may be the clearest indication yet that we have been located, and whoever discovered us may have been preparing for this moment for a very long time. When astronomers first spotted 3i Atlas, it was dismissed as just another comet, a harmless traveler from the depths of space. Yet the web's imaging revealed something no one expected. The structure of the object and its surrounding dust cloud didn't match known comet behavior. Its course was razor sharp, perfectly aligned with the orbital plane of the planets, something nature almost never does. And then came the real shock, its speed. 255,000 kilometers per hour, faster than any other known comet of its size could travel without propulsion. To put this in perspective, at that speed it could cross the entire United States in under two minutes. But it wasn't just moving fast, it was moving smart. Its path included close flybys of Venus, Mars, and Jupiter using their gravity as slingshots, maneuvers that space agencies plan years in advance for missions to deep space. The chances of this happening by coincidence. About 1 in 20,000. That's when Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb and his colleagues began to suspect this wasn't just a rock drifting between stars. It was something else, something designed. What makes 3i Atlas even more unsettling is its timing. Its nearest approach to the sun, its perihelion, will occur when Earth is on the opposite side of its orbit, facing away from the sun in late October 2025. During that time, it will completely vanish from our view, concealed by the sun's glare. No telescopes, no radar, no tracking. In terms of space, that is the perfect window for something under intelligent control to act. Think about it, during those silent, unobservable days, hidden propulsion could fire, altering its course with surgical precision, completely undetected. When it reappears, it could be heading in a completely new direction, and we wouldn't know until it was far, far too late. This kind of maneuver would be impossible for a natural object, but trivial for an advanced probe disguised as a comet. Loeb's team warns, the timing is not a coincidence. It's an opportunity. And if this object is what they fear, that opportunity is planned. If you wanted to send a probe across the galaxy without being noticed, what better disguise than a comet? A solid core wrapped in ice and dust, venting gas as it nears the sun, creating a blinding halo that hides everything inside. It blocks the view of telescopes. Even radar is scattered by the rough surface. Heat signatures from systems on board would be lost in the chaotic outgassing. Nature's stealth technology, free for anyone advanced enough to copy it. NASA has even studied ice shielding for deep space missions, not just for protection against radiation and micrometeoroids, but also for long-term survival. For a civilization millions, or even billions, of years more advanced than us, building a comet-cloaked probe would be child's play. And here's the chilling part. What if 3i Atlas, long dismissed as just another traveler, isn't natural at all? If it's artificial, then it has a mission. Loeb offers to possibilities, friendly or antagonistic. Perhaps it's an explorer, a robotic scout, mapping our solar system, collecting samples, and returning data home. But history gives us a darker precedent. The Trojan horse was a gift, until it wasn't. Throughout human history, when a more advanced culture encountered a less advanced one, the result was rarely good for the latter. And if this object is armed, the stakes are unimaginable. A 12-meter-wide object striking Earth at its current speed would release energy on a catastrophic scale. 
A million times more powerful than the strongest nuclear bomb to ever go off, it would block out the sun with global firestorms for a long time, possibly ending human civilization. NASA is rumored to have a contingency plan to intercept 3I Atlas if necessary. However, due to its phenomenal speed, any intercept mission would have to begin early and far from the planet. It's possible that the James Webb Telescope's first real image only gave us the initial hint. The actual test will follow once it exits from beneath the sun. If its current course changes, we will not only be looking at an alien object, we will be investigating a decision made by someone, or something, already. Whereas the initial picture of 3I Atlas sparked worldwide intrigue, it was the spectral data from the James Webb follow-up that truly shook scientists. By splitting the object's light into its component wavelengths, Webb revealed something it shouldn't have, evidence of compounds and metals that do not correspond to any known cometary body. Certain reflective patterns looked like they were made of alloys, the kind you would expect on the surface of a spacecraft, not in the frozen shell of a wandering rock. Even more troubling was the detection of subtle but persistent heat anomalies buried beneath its icy covering, as if something inside was generating energy. The temperatures were to constant to be explained solely by sunlight, implying an internal source of power. To Lou and his co-workers, this was more than just a hint. It was the closest thing we had to a fingerprint of artificial origin, hidden in the midst of the noise, waiting for those daring enough to look deeper. Stephen Hawking's warning had long been theoretical, a caution to those eager to make our presence known in the cosmos. But the appearance of 3i Atlas makes that theory frighteningly tangible. In the model of the Dark Forest universe, civilizations remain silent not out of fear, but necessity. Make a sound, and you risk attracting the attention of someone older, quicker, and far more advanced. Earth has not been quiet. Our century of unrestrained radio transmissions, television signals, and intentional interstellar messages have been like a flare in the night sky. If 3i Atlas is a probe, it may not be here randomly. It might be here because we called it. That changes the nature of the mystery. It's no longer just about whether the object is alien, but whether its journey toward us began the moment we revealed ourselves to the void. With enclosed circles at NASA and the Department of Defense, whispers grow louder about a classified spacecraft program capable of quick response. Known as SHIELD-3, the plan at least on paper, is to create a high-speed interceptor capable of matching 3i Atlas's trajectory far from Earth. The problem, chemical rockets can't reach the required velocity and time. Engineers are reportedly exploring hybrid nuclear thermal systems, solar sails, even experimental ion propulsion in an effort to narrow the gap. Yet every week lost makes the mission less feasible, and funding for such an emergency launch has not yet been fully authorized. Insiders claim there is an unconfirmed deadline. If 3i Atlas emerges on a new course from behind the sun and approaches Earth, SHIELD-3 may become more than just a contingency plan. It could be humanity's only shot at preventing the unknown. As the date of conjunction with the sun draws near, observatories worldwide are concentrating every instrument on 3i Atlas before it vanishes into invisibility. The James Webb, positioned perfectly beyond Earth's atmosphere, continues to send faint readings, minor fluctuations in light output, changes in spectral structure, and a peculiar rhythm in the dust it releases, almost like pulsations. Some consider this natural variation, but others quietly see the possibility of system activity or even encoded signals. Astronomers know that once the object disappears again behind the sun, everything might be different, its speed, its course, even its function. This brief window before it vanishes may be our last chance to comprehend the real issue at hand and prepare for what's coming. And the closer we get to that date, the more it feels like we're not observing the object anymore, it's observing us. Soon, the sun will release 3 i Atlas from its blinding hold, and the world will be watching. If it returns exactly as predicted, it may slowly drift into the black, just another mysterious traveler will never fully understand. 
But if its trajectory has changed, if it comes back on a new course, then we'll know. We'll know it has been steered by someone or something. The James Webb has already shown us what it looks like. The real question is, what does it want? Are we dealing with a lonely machine drifting among the stars, curious about our world? Or is it the spear's sharp end, the first step in a plan that began long before we even knew the stars had eyes? The truth is, we may not get a second chance to prepare. In the vast silence of space, the smallest shift in course can be the loudest message ever sent. So ask yourself, if this is indeed alien technology, are we ready for what happens next? Because when 3i Atlas emerges from the sun's shadow, we may be confronting the most crucial moment in human history.